My name is Penelope Chatterton. Welcome to Awaken the Dream. My friends, I have David Hoffmeister back this week, and we are going to talk more about the joy of working and loving and being loved by the Holy Spirit. We would like to start this program with a prayer. Holy Spirit, thank you for this beautiful joining, for the opportunity to see that we are whole and complete and we do have everything and there is no world. Help us to explore for our friends who are learning and growing with us that we have everything, there's no place to go, there's no journey, there's no fear, that nothing real can be threatened. Thank you for being with us and loving us as we love you. The peace of God is shining in us now. and We are so grateful for your love and the extension of your love that we have our life and our being in. Amen. Well, welcome back. Ah, yes. We <laughs> went to a beautiful place on our last program and we're going to go even deeper. We helped our friends look at fear and journeys and some ego devices that look very clever, David, in that it suggests that we do have all these steps to go through to be home. Isn't it amazing, though, how fancy they are, in a sense, and how enticing they are? Because in this world that we made up, it's like all, it looks alluring. Like, I'm better today because I overcame this. And tomorrow I'm going to be even closer to God. And in our last mm -hmm. program, we were helping our friends and ourselves to see that it's done. It's accomplished. Yes. It is finished. Yes. It's over. Yes. Yes. Very different from it is now to the trap of becoming. Becoming enlightened. The, How long will it take before <laughs> I become enlightened? <laughs> And, and even the terminology when, it, when it's spoken of enlightenment, you know, it's like there will be a talk of a Buddha and a Jesus and, or different beings and so forth as becoming enlightened. Yeah. They did it, now I have can to do it. Can we be another it. one? Can we be another one and, and how long will it take me? And enlightenment is now and it is, it is only now. Yeah. And uh, the idea too of enlightened beings is something that I, has to be released as well. Yeah. You know, there's many parts that, here and there in the Course where Jesus says, forgive me your illusions. And people will say, why do I have to forgive Jesus? You know, Why do I have to give, forgive Jesus out of everyone? <laughs> why do I have to forgive Jesus? It just seems, sounds kind of ludicrous. And what he's saying is that in the end, the body, the man of Jesus, you know, spirit, the Christ mind is eternal. Yeah. Forgive, oh. overlook the man. Yeah. Overlook the apostles. Overlook history. Yeah. Accept yourself now as the divine Christ mind. This is what forgive me your illusions means. Oh, wiping out the world. Wipe here, it David. out. Right. It's wiping out the course. You know, this will be this will be your final lesson with the course. You know, yeah. it doesn't have a number on it. <laughs> it can be at any moment, at any instant, at any paragraph, at any line. It can be You don't just, even open it. Exactly. You don't even, you don't even open the book. <laughs> you, you don't There's no book. Right. Because uh, spirit doesn't read, and um, <laughs> spirit doesn't take steps, and spirit just is. It's vibrant. It's radiant. It's it's joy. It's everything. Yeah. So that's that's what it's all about. And it's dipping into receiving it, and extending yes. it, yes. and being in it. Yes. It extends naturally because that's what it is. It's ever extending. So it's just a matter of recognition of it. And when we've been told by Jesus, first of all, 2,000 years ago, seemingly, um, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is within. Be you perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect. Yeah. And then finally, my kingdom is not of this world. Yeah. No clearer statement from the Christ mind than that. The Christ mind did not incarnate into Jesus. The Christ mind just is. Yeah. And that was a reflection of what is beyond the veil. Yeah. So we were just talking before about the idea of the sight of this world must be denied, for it is costing you the sight of another. 
Oh. Another is the real world, the real world of light and of love, of unconditional love yeah. that is veiled by the five senses, that is veiled by, by everything that is perceived. The world of images mm -hmm. is pleasures. This, pleasures, pains, all yeah. the different things. Yeah. And I think one thing I would like to just bring in is the idea that uh, many have tried to renounce the world but have still believed in it. Yeah. And the, the way that we're taught that you release this world, the way you release the sight of images is you, you release the beliefs and the belief that, that brought about this world. Yeah. It's not about um, uh, changing something on the screen because that would be like being in a, in a movie theater and if there's a glitch in the film going be up in charge. and pounding on the screen, that would be ridiculous to yeah. pound on, a, on the screen. You could pound forever. <laughs> if the problem was back in the projector room, if the problem was with the film that was blocking the, the light, then it would not help to bang on the screen. You need to go inward, yeah. deeper inward to, to have that true yeah. release. Yeah, that's what I wanted to hear you say. The release mm -hmm. comes from going that deeply. Yes. And we've all sat in meditation yes. and gone into this place and it's like, yeah. Oh, yeah. may I remember? So I can do that anytime. Yes. Anytime. Yes. I, have yes. the, I have the real world. Yes, yes. And it's